Hi everyone, this is Tarni, a senior UX designer. In this video, I'm going to share my first experience of attending an UX UI job interview. Hope this will be helpful for you and you enjoy it too. Let's get into the video. Hi Tarni, this is Morgan here. Thanks for joining this call. Hi Morgan. As you know, I'm Morgan. I'm working as a design lead in this uh, XYZ company and working with different types of projects. I think you have uh, gone to our website already. Yes, Morgan, I've gone through it and interested in know more about it. Maybe, yes, it's your turn to start with. Sure. This is Tarni. I'm from biotechnology background and I have around two years of experience in user testing. And uh, literally, I got interested in UX UI design as well. So I started learning it and I did a short term course on it and also did some projects related to it. How do you think this can be possible? Because you are from different backgrounds altogether. As I know, user experience is more about conducting user research and finding out the problems and trying to fix it with the possible UI solutions with the ease of use. In that case, in my current company, I have worked with the product managers on writing the PRDs, finding out the scenarios and possible test cases and use cases. Also, I'm confident in communicating and delivering the result with clients. This also helped me to get into UX UI and it pulled me towards that. I think this experience and my interest towards learning will help me to pursue and deliver my best in this field as well. That's great. What kind of projects have you done so far? And can we see something if possible? In my current company, I'm in the healthcare department and worked on a few of the testing projects. I can showcase my portfolio where I have designed an application for the travelers as well as the host, which can act as a very good mediator application. I've also done a few of the freelance projects for music application and as well as web design for an international music festival. This is the application that I have designed for both the travelers and the host. These are the onboarding screens and this is the welcome screen. So uh, in this application, travelers can able to choose the uh, vacation rentals across the different countries and travel over. And also users can search by different places, prices, amenities and more. And uh, hosts can also be able to schedule their own price and requirements for guests. And also they can uh, list whatever the qualified guest will be. And uh, travelers can also contact them with different questions uh, before and after they start. Travelers can post their travel experience in the Explore page by sharing their travel photos, videos, blogs, etc. And uh, they can also view their own profile by sharing whatever they have shared so far will be available, just like Instagram. So I, I've tried to redesign it based on that. And they can also share with Instagram and different applications as well at the same time. To design this, I have also followed the design process of defining, discovering, ideating, design and test. So I have uh, conducted a user survey and from that I have tried to collect the user interview and data empathy mapping. And also I have uh, come up with the user personas from whatever the information that I have collected from the user. And these are some of the user scenarios and uh, storyboarding that I have done for that particular user story. And I have done cost sorting and information architecture to build upon uh, what we can do next based on the ideation flow that we have created. This is the user flow and these are the low fidelity wireframes. And these are the high fidelity wireframes. How do you think this application is different from Airbnb? As Airbnb is an application where it provides lots of people, uh, travelers and good staycation as well as uh, it is giving an opportunity for the host as well. A similar way, but one of the favorite application of mine is Airbnb. I got inspired from that. Even though as a traveler, I want to host any of the trips that people are going to. And I can also post the uh, trips that I'm going to host uh, in the upcomings. I can also do that. So as a single traveler, I can able to host few of the people that I'm uh, going to go with. Or else I can also host a larger group of people who are uh, planning for a trip altogether. I can also see what my peer people are doing and where they are going. I can see their posts in the Explore page. I can also do that. And uh, I can also share my uh, experience, travel experience at the same time in different types of applications. What kind of design process do you usually follow? Thanks for the question. So I usually start with uh, the gathering the requirements from the client. Like it can be either from the client or it can be from the user. So I usually start from gathering the requirements and writing up the scenarios, like what kind of scenarios can happen. And also I'll try to do a secondary research and a market analysis a bit to find out whether this problem is already solved or not. After that, once I found the competition between other things and uh, the product that we are going to come up with, uh, I'll start conducting the user interviews or in user surveys. So based on the responses, I'll try to gather um, more information and I'll try to ideate based on the user needs. And then I come up with a solution. So solution doesn't depend on only me. I can also uh, collaborate with other designers and uh, I can also test some of the 
uh, wireframes and uh, sketches with the users to see their responses. And once that has been done, I'll try to implement the same on the visual designs. What do you think is important for UX design? If you ask me this question, then my answer will be you have to be in the current trend. That is very important when it comes to UX design. I think for both UX and UI, we need to be in the current trend to see uh, what can we do new and what can we introduce or uh, how it can be simply done. That's what we need to research more about uh, whatever the product that we are, we, are, we are designing for. Which one do you like and how much do you rate yourself for both UX and UI? I think I like both UX and UI and uh, I think I can rate myself in UX around uh, 9 out of 10 and same for UI. So I think you are very much goal oriented. So when can I see you in next five years? I found my interest recently, that is uh, UX UI design. Maybe in next five years, oh, whatever can happen. That is like, maybe I would be able to find what I'm exactly interested in or specifically interested in this field. Uh, also, but I'm sure that I'll be a better person uh, personally and also a career wise from what I'm currently now. Can you give me an example of a good design and a bad design based on your experience? One of the very good experience that I'm recently facing is I can be able to track whatever the thing that I'm ordering online. It doesn't need to be online or it, does, it can be either a train or a bus or any of the products that I have ordered online. There is an option in every application that I can track whatever the thing that is mine. Yeah, so that's I'm happy with. That's a very good experience that I'm facing recently either it can be either a payment it can be anything if uh, it's going to be yours you can track any time bad experience is i've recently used a insurance application uh, from a bank it is not uh, helping me to get a proper uh, information about my uh, insurance and also the clients that i have raised and there is no proper updates there's no notifications notifications are only for the marketing purposes the application is getting out i mean the application is you know, popping me up a lot of notifications, but I couldn't able to track what is actually needed. So uh, that is one of the bad experiences that I recently faced. I couldn't able to raise a query or uh, talk to any of the customer care. Like if only, only if you uh, raise something, like if you uh, text or mail someone, then only the people are be people are responding after eight days. So which is a very uh, bad customer experience, I think. So this can be improved. Thanks, Arni. I think we are done. I'll forward my feedback. Hajar will get back to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, thank you so much. Even I enjoyed the interview. Bye-bye. This video is based on my true story. If you are currently in this stage of attending the job interviews, I think this will be helpful. And you can maybe get some pointers on how you can uh, expect the questions as well as the answers. And you might also be asked something specific to what kind of answers that you are giving. Maybe uh, that you can think about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you all in the next video. Bye-bye.